Hi partners, my name is Larice Flores. I'm a district manager from Starbucks Philippines. I'd been part of the company for 21 years in which I have celebrated all my milestones. Tristan Coffee is the place where I have experienced the highs and the lows, successes and challenges. I have met my husband here in Starbucks and he also works as a district manager. We have a son, his name is Lorenzo, but we call him Jackpot or Enzo and he is our only child. Apart from the great company culture and working environment, deciding to stay for more than two decades is also influenced by our son's special condition. When Enzo was three years old, he was diagnosed with ASD or Autism Spectrum Disorder. My son was nonverbal. He wasn't able to talk until he was five years old. I remember one of the few words he learned to say was Starbucks. I think it was something that made an impact to him growing up because of the work we do every day. Having a child with special needs takes its toll on us. This is the hardest part of being a parent. He made me realize that I am here for him for a greater purpose. Like many other parents whose children were diagnosed with autism, we all felt scared and uncertain about our son's future. But over time, our approaches, especially mine as a mom, had evolved into a different level. Instead of focusing on the label, I learned to tune into my son's struggles, challenges, strengths, and learning techniques. I realized all the more that he needed perpetual support. We have no idea how to navigate this new normal considering the condition of my son as he is used to routines and therapies um, being done face to face. Since we are unprepared for this pandemic, there are some transitions and challenges to my son's daily routines that affected him. And honestly, it was evidently a challenge for us. Being a wife, an autism parent, and a career woman all at the same time is a juggling act where you can never predict when the balls can drop at any time. And I realized that, you know, staying healthy is the greatest gift I can give to my son so that we can take care of him for a longer time. With God's grace and provision, the support and resources that our company provides were the instrument in making all this possible. First, I appreciate the work from home setup, which somehow allows us to oversee our son and his online therapy sessions. Second, our medical insurance provided by the company is something that we are really thankful for because it gives us a sort of security and peace of mind in case of emergency. Lastly, our partner resources team is very supportive and mindful of partners' mental health. In fact, they find available support strategies, especially during the first phase of quarantine period, like inviting us to join webinars and you know, how can we take care of our mental health and well-being. With all of these, we are able to provide everything that we need in order to raise my son. Although these trying times may have shaken us, I still see the silver lining through it all, having more time with my son. My son is so much more than just a diagnosis. He may be different, but he is not less. That's exactly what brings me to work every single day knowing that each of us is different. Embracing diversity as part of our company's culture is something that is relatable and speaks volume to me as a mother. This pandemic has taught me how to be resilient and creative. It makes my connection with other people meaningful and it's my desire to make them feel hopeful and assured when I am given the opportunity to share my own challenges. You know, when I see my son's uh, determination to improve himself, as simple as writing his name or just tying his shoelaces, it makes me more appreciative of the gifts and talents that are freely given to us. I think it should inspire us to nurture our own gift. And when I share these things with others, I hope it gives them a realization to, to love life and be less complaining. And that we should live and treat each day as it comes with a grateful heart. Women have such many different roles to play that were heightened out of the situation served. These trying times have led us into strengthening our resiliency and honing our innate capacity 
as women to nurture. With these, I would like to thank our Partner Resources Director Sabs and our PR Manager Macy for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share my story. And I hope this inspires and empowers a lot of women to show up with intent and make the greatest impact by leading with the heart, whether at home or at work. Thank you.